when you wanna study, you cannot concentrate because you have a lot of stress. Do you have stress before the exam? Is CV and every other exam just scary for you? Is always stress a bad thing? Any exam that you are writing maybe next week, next month or maybe next year is not gonna be the first and your last exam in your whole life. If you have stress for the exam, this video is for you. In this video, we want to talk about how to manage stress. Watch this video if you wanna manage your stress for the exam. Welcome to this channel. I wrote CP in September 2022 for the first time in assurance with zero background in assurance and zero day working in firm. And guess what? I passed it. I'm so happy and I'm here to help you and share what I did to pass this monster exam. Again, any exam you are writing next week, next month, or maybe next year, it's not gonna be your first and last exam in your whole life. CPA and CV journey are really challenging and stressful. In this video, I will talk about stress management. I think stress is not always bad, as long as it's well managed. And this stress is a sign that we are alive. Before starting, please subscribe for more videos that help you study smarter and use your time more efficient. One of the items that reduce the stress level is having a routine and stick to it. I talked about it in four months, every CFE candidate should know video. If you haven't watched it, I will add a link in description. And make sure you watch it because it's a very important video for every CPA candidate. Most of the times we have a stress because of timing and in a better way, deadline. Imagine a life without deadline. What's gonna happen? Even in your daily plan, like I should be in the train station at 3.25. The train will leave the station at 3.30. So 3.30 is a deadline. And when I'm in the station at 3.25, I'm gonna have a buffer time for five minutes. Oh, wait, what did I say? A buffer time for five minutes? Let's have another example. The exam will be started at 10 a.m. and I wanna be in the exam center at 9.30. Just in case if there is any traffic, accidents. So I want to be in the exam center 30 minutes earlier. Again, buffer time. See, we are doing the simple thing on a daily basis. Why don't do it for a studying? Especially for CP, you are gonna have a study plan from CPA Canada that you can adjust it. Do you want a separate video on planning? So please subscribe to this channel as there will be a planning video soon. During Capstone 2, you should submit cases on a weekly basis. What I do for myself is changing the deadline only for myself in my brain and my planning spreadsheet. For example, if the deadline to submit one case is Wednesday, I will change the deadline for myself to Monday. What's gonna happen in that case? I'm gonna have a buffer time. I'm gonna have time to review my notes. And by submitting a case earlier, I'm gonna have less extra. With this buffer time, I'm gonna have a very good high quality debrief notes as well. Debriefing is very very important. There is gonna be a separate video for debriefing as well as I didn't find any useful video about it. So please subscribe and do not miss that video. Changing the deadline for yourself helps you to have less stress and do all your assigned tasks on time. Have enough sleep. It helps you to concentrate and learn better. Manage anxiety, improve problem solving and perform better in case of surprising questions in the cases. Normally you should sleep 8 hours per day. If you have problem with sleeping or wake up in the middle of the night, you want to practice cases, review cases and this kind of thing that's kind of normal, maybe some herb tea can help you. For example, for myself, chamomile tea and adding two or three drops of rose water in tea or water help me a lot to sleep better. Have a healthy lifestyle. Eat healthy. Eat whatever that reduces your stress like dark chocolate or banana. Banana reduces the blood pressure and helps you to have less stress. Take a regular break when you study and have at least one day off per week. Be careful of burnout. 
since you need your brain really fresh in day one, two and three in Sifi. Keep away everything that distracts you. Like your phone. You can put it in another room, silent, you don't want to hear its notification. And do not go to that room to check if there is any new notification or not. I remember I also deleted a couple of applications like Instagram, Facebook in the last month. You are going to use a lot of time on those applications and then at the end of the day you are going to review what you have done and what you haven't done and then you are going to feel so bad that you didn't use your time efficiently. Do not try to memorize every single detail, especially for the C feed because it's very important to have your memory and your brain really fresh. You are going to be bombarded with lots of data and information. You need your brain and memory for more important things. This usually happens when you go to the FR section and you don't need really to memorize every single detail. I will show in more videos about the CPA Canada Handbook when I go through different sections and paragraphs and we'll talk about different parts how to use the handbook use each part for analyzing i will talk about this part in the cpa canada handbook especially in fr and audit section find the activities that you really love and enjoy and do them in your breaks and time off like cooking gardening swimming walking spending time in nature and anything that you really love for example i really love cooking and whenever that we have an exam and she had so much stress she told me she takes shower sometimes three times a day do not ask me why she didn't go to the pool because you should find your own way and I think it was her way to reduce stress and it really helped her and the performance and result of the exam were really better. In this video we talked about stress management and how to reduce the stress level and manage it better. If you found this video helpful, informative and gave you an idea to reduce your stress level, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in next videos.